Welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Our message today is simple but challenging, and here it is. Speak grace and hear grace. Speak grace and hear grace. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. That is a good proverb. That is a beautiful declaration about the power of our words. I'll read it one more time. Proverbs 16, verse 24. Gracious words are like a honeycomb. There's just a sweetness to it. Sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. Words can bring such grace, such encouragement, such hope. I learned this at a young age in third and fourth grade. My third grade teacher, I'll use her full name because uh, I'll use her name because she was the positive example, but her name was Mrs. Sauer. And Mrs. Sauer was the sweetest teacher I ever had. She always had kind things to say. My fourth grade year of school, and by the way, I love third grade. My fourth grade year of school, I'm going to say Mrs. H. And Mrs. H always had something negative to say, always had something unkind to say or harsh. And with me particularly, she came after me in some pretty vicious ways as a fourth grader. And I not only hated fourth grade, I hated school after that. And until I became a Christian, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 10th grade, six years went by, I didn't like school because one teacher who didn't bring grace with her words but brought judgment. And let me be clear, I was a pretty rough kid, I was pretty uh, hard to manage, and so I'm not saying I was perfect, but as the teacher of fourth graders, she should have shown more grace. But I ex I've experienced, and so have you, we've all experienced the power of words to bring grace. And so here's my encouragement to you, if it's true, if it's true what God's Word says that gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones, here's what we need to learn to do. Number one, listen and receive words of grace. Some of you right now need to hear this. You might be good at giving words of grace, but when other people speak kindly to you, when they bless you, when they encourage you, oh no, that's not true, oh no, it's no big deal, and you actually belittle yourself when other people bring words of grace. And some of you need to listen and receive that sweetness and say, God, what a gift from you that this person would speak words of grace and kindness and goodness and love to me. Receive those as a gift from God, but don't push them away. Others need to be encouraged to speak words of grace, to learn that, that your words have power. Uh, in, in this passage, it says, healing to the bones, healing to the deepest part of who someone is, words that are sweet, filled with grace. And so speak words of grace whenever you can to your children, to your grandchildren, to your spouse, to your friends, to people that don't particularly like you. Any chance you get, speak words of grace. And I wanna give one more word of encouragement. Write words of grace. Even if you don't like writing, you can text it. But text to someone, send them an email, write a handwritten note. And when you see something good that's praiseworthy, put those things into words and share them with people. I've had people tell me years later that they've kept notes I've given to them and read them again and again because they get so little encouragement through the words of others. When you put it in writing, people can lock that away somewhere and look at it again and again. And so, here's my challenge to you today. Write at least two texts today before the day is done to someone that you can bless, that you can encourage, and let your words be like a honeycomb, sweet and healing to the bones. Let's pray together. Living God, thank you that you speak words of grace to us. May we overflow with that grace to others. Help us to speak words of grace, to write words of grace, and heal us where we've been hurt by words that were not filled with grace. Let our words be like a honeycomb, bringing life to others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on you. Have a great day, and hopefully we'll see you in church. If you're part of Shoreline, 9-11 online on campus. We'll see you soon.